In this lesson, we will focus on the basics of trigonometry. We will start with a review of a right triangle and learn how to label its sides. Then, we will discuss the six trigonometric functions and learn how to find trigonometric ratios using Sokotoa. Finally, we will apply these concepts to find missing side lengths and angles in right triangles. Let's get started. A right triangle has one angle measuring 90 degrees, which is represented by a small square in the corner. The other two angles are acute, meaning they are less than 90 degrees. Remember, the sum of all angles in any triangle always adds up to 180 degrees. So, in a right triangle, the sum of the two acute angles is 90 degrees. Additionally, the Pythagorean theorem states that the square of the length of the longer side equals the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. Please keep these fundamental properties in mind as we progress. In a right triangle, we label the sides as the hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. The side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. It is always the longest side of a right triangle. The other two sides are labeled with respect to one of the two acute angles. Let's say this angle is theta. The side opposite theta is the opposite side, while the remaining side, adjacent to theta, is the adjacent side. When labeling a right triangle, start with the hypotenuse, then label the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. There are six trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. These are their abbreviations or short forms. Sine, cosine, and tangent are the basic trigonometric functions, while the other three functions are their reciprocals. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Each of these functions relates the angle measures of a right triangle to the ratio of its side lengths. Sine theta is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Cosine theta is the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. Tangent theta is the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. A useful mnemonic to remember these trigonometric ratios is Sokotoa. The first three letters of Sokotoa represent the sine ratio. S is for sine, O is for opposite, and H is for hypotenuse. This tells us that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The second three letters represent the cosine ratio. C is for cosine, A is for adjacent, and H is for hypotenuse. This tells us that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The last three letters represent the tangent ratio. T is for tangent, O is for opposite, and A is for adjacent. This tells us that tangent is opposite over adjacent. The other three ratios are simply the reciprocals of these basic ratios. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it is hypotenuse over opposite. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so it is hypotenuse over adjacent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it is adjacent over opposite. Now, let's work on some examples. Find the values of the six trigonometric ratios of the angle theta. The first step is to label the sides with respect to the angle theta. Opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle theta is the opposite side. The remaining side, adjacent to theta, is the adjacent side. Now, let's use Sokotoa to find the trigonometric ratios. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? The opposite side is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13, so the sine of theta is 5 over 13. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 12, and the hypotenuse is 13, so the cosine of theta is 12 over 13. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. The opposite side is 5, and the adjacent side is 12, so the tangent of theta is 5 over 12. The other three ratios are simply the reciprocals of these three ratios. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it is 13 over 5. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so it is 13 over 12. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it is 12 over 5. In this example, we were given the lengths of all three sides, but what if we only know the lengths of two sides? What should we do in this case? 
As before, the first step is to label the sides with respect to the angle theta. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle theta is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. The next step is to find the length of the missing side. Let's call it x. According to the Pythagorean theorem, we know that the square of the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, for our right triangle, x squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared, right? That is, 36 plus 64, which equals 100. Taking the square root of both sides, we find that x equals the square root of 100. Please note that in an equation, it would be plus or minus the square root of 100. However, since we are dealing with lengths here, we only consider the positive value, as length cannot be negative. Therefore, the length of the hypotenuse is 10. Now, use Sokotoa to find the trigonometric ratios. Please pause the video and give it a try. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, it is 6 over 10. If we divide both 6 and 10 by 2, it can be reduced to 3 over 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, it is 8 over 10, which reduces to 4 over 5, right? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, it is 6 over 8, which simplifies to 3 over 4. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it is 5 over 3. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so it is 5 over 4. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it is 4 over 3. Now, how do you find a missing side length when given one angle and one side length? Our first step is to label the sides with respect to the given angle. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the 50 degree angle is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. Next, Identify the given side and the side you are asked to find. The hypotenuse is given, and we are asked to find the opposite side. Then, identify the trig function that relates these sides using Sokotoa. It is the sine function that relates the opposite side with the hypotenuse, right? So, the sine of 50 degrees equals x over 11. Now, all we need to do is solve for x. Multiply both sides by 11. This cancel out and we get x equals 11 times sine of 50 degrees. To find this product, we need to use a calculator. Please make sure your calculator is in degree mode as the angle is given in degree. Type in 11 times sine of 50 degrees. So, x is approximately equal to 8.43, rounded to the nearest hundredth. Now, let's move on to the next example. First, label the sides. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the 28 degree angle is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. The adjacent side is given, and you are asked to find the hypotenuse. According to Sokotoa, it is the cosine function that relates these two sides, right? So, the cosine of 28 degrees equals 35 over x. Now, to isolate x, first multiply both sides by x. Then, divide both sides by cosine of 28 degrees. Using a calculator, 35 divided by cosine of 28 degrees is approximately equal to 39.64. Now, it is your turn. Please pause the video and give it a try. First, label the sides. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the 65 degree angle is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. The adjacent side is given and you are asked to find the opposite side. According to Sokotoa, it is the tangent function that relates these two sides, right? So, the tangent of 65 degrees equals x over 24. Now multiply both sides by 24 to isolate x. Using a calculator, 24 times tangent of 65 degrees is approximately equal to 51.47. Now, how do we find a missing angle when given the lengths of two sides? Our first step is to label the sides with respect to the angle that we are asked to find. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle theta is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. Next, identify the given sides. The opposite side and the hypotenuse are given, right? Then, identify a trig function that relates these sides using Sokotoa. 
it is the sine function that relates the opposite side with the hypotenuse, right? So, the sine of theta equals 13 over 15. Now to find theta, we use the inverse sine function. This is equivalent to theta equals the inverse sine of 13 over 15. We are also going to use a calculator to find this value. The inverse sine of 13 over 15 is approximately equal to 60.07 degrees. Let's move on to the next example. As before, first label the sides. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle theta is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. You are given the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. According to Sokotoa, it is the cosine function that relates these two sides, right? So, the cosine of theta equals 7 over 10. This is equivalent to theta equals the inverse cosine of 7 over 10. The inverse cosine of 7 over 10 is approximately equal to 45.57 degrees. Now, it is your turn. Please pause the video and give it a try. First, label the sides. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle theta is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. You are given the adjacent and opposite sides. According to Sokotoa, it is the tangent function that relates these two sides, right? So, the tangent of theta equals 17 over 42. This is equivalent to theta equals the inverse tangent of 17 over 42. The inverse tangent of 17 over 42 is approximately equal to 22.04 degrees. Sometimes, you may be asked to find all the missing side lengths and angles. Let's work on these two examples. In this example, one angle and one side length are given, and you are asked to find the two missing side lengths and this angle. To find the missing side lengths, use trig functions. Start by labeling the sides with respect to the given angle. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the 35 degree angle is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. Let's find the hypotenuse first. The opposite side is given. According to Sokotoa, it is the sine function that relates these two sides, right? So, the sine of 35 degrees equals 21 over x. To isolate x, first multiply both sides by x and then divide both sides by sine of 35 degrees. This is approximately equal to 36.61. Now, let's find y. It is the tangent function that relates the opposite side with the adjacent side, right? So, the tangent of 35 degrees equals 21 over y. To isolate y, first multiply both sides by y and then divide both sides by tangent of 35 degrees. This is approximately equal to 29.99. Now, let's find the missing angle. We know that, in a right triangle, the sum of the two acute angles is 90 degrees. So, theta plus 35 degrees equals 90 degrees, right? From this, we find that the missing angle equals 55 degrees. In the next example, the lengths of two sides are given, and you are asked to find the missing side length and the two angles. Please pause the video and give it a try. Since you know the lengths of two sides, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side length. So, you have 12 squared equals x squared plus 4 squared. 12 squared is 144 and 4 squared is 16. Subtract 16 from both sides to isolate x squared. Now, take the square root of both sides. This is approximately equal to 11.31. Now, let's find the missing angles. Let's find angle theta first. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Opposite the angle theta is the opposite side, and the remaining side is the adjacent side. The opposite side and the hypotenuse are given. According to Sokotoa, it is the sine function that relates these two sides, right? So, the sine of theta equals 4 over 12. This is equivalent to theta equals the inverse sine of 4 over 12. This is approximately equal to 19.47 degrees. Now, let's find the angle alpha. Alpha plus theta 
equals 90 degrees, right? From this, we find that alpha equals 70.53 degrees. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.